you're about to play an unfinished level from The Last of Us Part Two. The reason we added this section is there are a few sequences, and we picked the three of the best ones, that we cut from the game. You know, often we build a game that's much bigger than what ends up being the final product. They were months away from being finished, but we wanted to give you an insight of what it's like when we built a game, because often we have this whole thing constructed and it doesn't have final art or audio or dialogue. And here you get to see the building blocks of what it's like when we first string a bunch of these levels together. This is the intro to the first deleted level, and this one is the roughest of the three. We wanted to show more of how Jackson operates. So this is the festival where Ellie ultimately kisses Dina. The sequence would have come very late in the game as a flashback sequence while you're in the farm with Dina. And we wanted to show what is the rest of Jackson doing um, and wanted to put on the stick, make it interactive. So you could see when you're outside, there are all these almost like carnival games that you can play. You could mix drinks, you could play with these kids that are playing a sort of clicker Marco Polo, sit down and listen to conversations. And all the different interactions were first or second pass, very, very early passes. The building blocks are there, but nothing is final. And ultimately, while we were very excited by the sequence, it's pretty fun and lighthearted. It just slowed things too much as we're barreling towards the end of the story at this point. So again, reminder, rough, missing audio, missing animation, missing gameplay tweaks, missing dialogue, but pretty representative of what it would have been. So enjoy. In this second deleted level, which is an extended sequence of the sewers in Seattle, this comes on the heels of where Ellie goes into a building and she um, survives an attack by stalkers and gets thrown out of the window and gets swept away by the current. And then we cut this section that um, used to be there in the final game. Now you will get to play it. So this was a way to get a bit more interesting puzzles, um, interesting traversal, uh, figure out how Ellie can navigate the sewers with the fighting current. Ultimately, with a lot of these levels and these sequences, the reason why we cut them were for pacing purposes. Uh, but here it is for you in this very kind of raw form that part of it will feel finished, parts of it will feel like assets are missing as far as audio animation won't be final. But it's a glimpse into what a game looks like when it's months away from finishing. Enjoy. Ah! <gasps> 
Okay. Okay. Fuck Seattle. Okay. Where the hell am I? Oh, thank God. Uh, fucking kidding me. Gotta be another way out. Get me the hell out of here. <sighs> up and out. Just keep going up and out. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Don't lose your shit, Ellie.
for this third and final deleted level, um, what we call the boar hunt sequence. This was a sequence pretty late in the game. It was right after the whole Seattle Abby sequence where uh, Abby spares Ellie. And then we wanted to come back into Ellie's story, but keep it a bit mysterious of how much time has passed, where is Ellie now? So we're coming in on Ellie uh, and she's following a trail of blood. And we wanted to mirror in a way the deer hunt sequence from the first game, but this time do it with a boar. And there's something with Ellie that now she's, she can't let go of this violence. She's pursuing it um, even against this innocent animal. This was another opportunity to show how the violence that Ellie has experienced, the violence that she witnessed being uh, afflicted onto Joel is still sticking with her. And she's still uh, experiencing these PTSD moments. This was a sequence that was pretty far along and was cut pretty late in production. Parts of it are still really rough, but the gameplay, the building blocks were all there. I think you'll have fun to see, like, again, a rough, unfinished sequence um, of, that you can play. You can see all the way to the end, and including a cinematic that we end up cutting. And the remnants of the sequence ended up being mentioned in Ellie's journal. So this part of the, the story that we developed still made its way into the game as kind of optional stuff that you could read about, but here you get to experience it. So as a reminder, this is pretty rough, months away from being finished, uh, but you get to see it now. Done. Stop this. Ah! 